Hello guys, welcome to Edu Jet Tech. In this video, we will be discussing a specific error that is error 503, which means server is unavailable. Error 503 states that server is unavailable or in most of the cases, we can say that server is too busy to process the request. Now, why the error raised? This error can be raised due to tons of reasons. Some of them are, there may be some issue with the code that you have written in the API. There may be some IS configuration issue. There may be some uh, issue related to IS pool. IS pool got stopped executing. That may also cause this error. Third one is that all of the thread of the thread pool got occupied and no one is free to process your request. Now, this is the example for a request from the client to the web API. So in this case, what is happening is that this is the this is the client. So here is start date, end date. You will be filling a start date and end date. When somebody will, somebody will be clicking on the get transaction button, then this grid to be filled. So whenever the client will send the request to the IS for this request so to uh, to get the service, then what will happen is that it will raise one thread and it will call the that thread will execute get all transactions method and when this method will get executed then what will happen is that it will return the result here and you will see the result so there may be possible that there are tons of clients sending the request sending the request for this particular get for this particular get transaction method so what will happen is that it may be possible that all of the thread in the IS pool in the thread pool got occupied. Suppose that your thread pool has 100 threads and user have made 100 threads and this get all transactions takes around 10 minutes to execute. So what will happen is that all 100 threads will get occupied for that 10 minutes and when you will be sending 100 first request then that request will got fail and you will be getting the error 503 because no uh, thread remains to process your request so in that case you what you will be doing is that you will be calling this particular method in async mode and what will happen is that you will let this to execute and that thread will got free that thread will got free and that thread will go to the thread pool now let's see in visual studio what changes we will have to make so here i have opened web api so this is the web api method which was written and this just return the list of items and it takes some time to execute the request so what will happen is that in this case whenever any request will come then this got occupied the thread that execute this request got occupied till it not finishes its execution so just to avoid that what here what else we can do is that we will be just commenting this one and we can uncomment this one so here we are calling in asynchronous mode we are calling in asynchronous mode and we can raise here await we can raise here await and we are calling get all here in the in asynchronous mode so whenever the thread that executes this method will look into the await it will just leave this method the thread will uh, the thread will be released and that thread will go to the thread pool and anyone else can use that thread to process further request so in this case we will not be facing 503 error